Hello crafters, welcome to Create at Home with G. Today we're going to be doing something which is quite different for me. Um, I'm altering my kind of, well my mum and I are altering our home decor. Um, the changing up is getting, you know, for the seasons and things, is getting quite difficult for me because of my health, my fibromyalgia and my arthritis and osteoporosis and so forth so we're trying to do it so we have a main focus um, so we're going to go down the kind of country farm look I guess in the US that we kind of farmhouse look um, I brought this slatted um, plain board from um, Hobbycraft after Christmas using my um, voucher that was given it measures nine and a half inches across and so you're looking at 11 probably yeah almost almost 13 inches long um, and I'm going to do something with this to go to be in keeping with that it's got the 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 alligator grip on the back so that's great so I'm just going to use some um, mo um so not my podge <laughs> Sorry crafters, I'm a bit foggy at the moment. Just getting over some severe um, pain with the bad weather we've had. We had a few weeks ago. So I'm just going to go over this with some, um, oh it's not Mod Podge Gareth, what is it? Some white gesso, my gosh, really not with it. And I'm, you know, I'm not covering it. I'm just going haphazardly because I want this to be have a rustic kind of feel. So as you can see, it's just got some um, white in places. I hope that shows what up well on camera. I'm going to just dry that with my heat tool. Okay, and using, um, I have, I have a distress ink which is almost out now, so I'm using a new one, but I didn't throw it away because I thought I could use it for projects like this where I'm just going to go, you know, directly onto, onto the wood. to distress it and go really heavy in areas and I'm also going to go back to my one inch brush with some of the white paint that's still on there looking and then what I'm going to put on this palette are some MDF cutouts which I've got now there are going to be some limited quantities of these available on my store and it'll be one of each the cow the pig and the chicken and the cow measures from tail to snout is just under seven and a half inches. The pig measures from tail to ear six inches, and the little chicken measures an inch and a quarter. So I am going to have these stacked on top of each other like that on this board. I think I'm going to paint these using. Um, my chalkboard paint so let's bring over my chalkboard paint if i can pick it up okay craft this is my chalkboard paint and i just need to open it i think it's got a film over it either that or it's solidified on me 
<laughs> it's completely solid. Would you believe that, crafters? My chalkboard paint has gone completely solid. Okay, I won't be using that. I'll go and get my black gesso instead. Okay. I'll use my black gesso instead. I love this gesso. It's from uh, Pebu or Pe Pepeo or Pebao Studio Acrylics. It's, it's great. I love this. It's absolutely covers amazingly. I love it. So I'm just going to paint all of these animals using this gesso. And then we can move on to the next, the next part. Okay, crafters, they are all nice and dry. Now, I went online and I found a picture where it shows you the different joints of a pig, of a pig and and, uh, and uh, chicken and cow. So I'm going to attempt to do the same thing. And I, I you could use um, a chalk pen if this is a whiteboard, but as it's not, I'm just going to use my um my uh signo white gel pen and i'm going to just copy what i see on my phone screen Okay, let's bring this back, making sure that our hook is at the top. And I'm going to hot glue these on. Like so. I was thinking about putting some um, um, barbed wire or something behind there, but I just can't. Oh gosh. That was a silly thing to do, Gareth. I just can't seem to, uh, to find any in my... Um, in my local area. I mean, I could take them off if I do find some. I just put some black paint on here, crafters, but I'm not going to worry about it. In fact, I might even put some on, just willy nilly. Yep, there we go. Not, not going to stress about it. I'm going to make it part of the actual wall art. So let's glue this on. So what that about about there? Let's look at. I don't want the cow, cow's tail to be falling. Okay, that looks about right. So I'm just going to put some hot glue on the back of our lovely lass. I had him. Oh, he's stuck down now. I. He's not quite on the um, on the cow. Come on. on him I want him standing on a cow there we go otherwise he just looks like he's in midair I don't want that to be the case and our charming little chicken right just go over it with my heat tool to get rid of the strings And there we have it, crafters. A really rustic country piece of decor to go in my living room, living room or kitchen because I've recently redone all the, uh, the top of the cabinets as well. So really pleased with the way that turned out. So thank you very much for joining me, crafters, and I will see you again soon with more craft. Take care now. Bye bye.